Hi, this is Jason with eStore Coaching. Uh, today we're here to take a look at how Magento and uh, e-commerce application can be used to help you manage your eStore business. Uh, we're going to walk through the setup process, uh, configuration of your site, design, product setup, uh, payment gateway, and order processing. So basically the essentials uh, so you can quickly set up your eStore and start selling. All right, so let's get started. So once you sign up for an account, you're going to go to manage your store. And what you're going to see here is your dashboard, which is basically your kind of your control panel. You're going to see your, your recent orders, uh, recent searches, and uh, kind of a sales report uh, all on the front page. What we're going to do is uh, on your top left, we're going to start my store and just go through the steps that they have to, uh, to configure your site. You're going to set up your language. Um, we're going to select English. Next item is your contact information. This is where you can uh, enter your, uh, your email address, your address, uh, which is later going to be used for uh, real-time shipping. So you can select your uh, input your uh, address information the next thing we want to do is um, design select and customize your design Click on continue. So before we uh, actually change the template, let's take a look at our, how our store looks like now. This is uh, the default uh, layout that they give you right out of the box. Yeah, basic uh, rotating banner at the top and um, and your product uh, categories at the bottom you, this is your basic uh, product page okay so let's um, let's take a look at a few of the themes that they have these are they have about 39 almost 40 uh, free themes you can select from so we're just gonna browse through them quickly and uh, kind of take a look at what the variations are. As you can see most of them have uh, kind of have the same layout, um, different color variations. So we're just gonna select this one over here to customize Accorde Arcade, excuse me, we're just going to rename it. And we're going to select the design setting uh, editor. Basically, it looks like you can uh, you can um, customize each section of the website, the body, the footer, the header. Um, and for each section, you can control the font, um, font size, alignment, the color, as well as the links and providing a, uh, looks like providing a, a background color and image as well. So we're just going to go through each one, take a look at them. You can control the heading settings here. the borders, the heading, the header setting here. You can select the logo. We're just going to pick our logo for now just to uh, take a look. Select the random uh, background color. We're going to save it and apply it.
So let's take a look at uh, the new template. Here's the logo. Here's the, the new layout. The beautiful colors I uh, selected. Let's take a look at uh, the product page. So as you can see, it's basic. It's pretty uh, straightforward. S setting up the design. Set your logo, which we uh, previously done. Um, but we can uh, set a logo for um, our emails and a favicon as well. Yeah, let's set that as well. And we're gonna skip over that. Let's uh, create a new product. We're gonna select continue. So I wanna pause here for a moment. So once you uh, decide to create a new a new product from their default page, um, product setup page, you're going to see a list of attribute sets. Uh, basically, an attribute, if I can define that first, represents a property of a product such as an item, uh, item name, the image, the SKU, the color, size, manufacturer, and so on. These are attributes. The attribute set uh, represents a group of these attributes. So take for example, you can create an attribute group of t-shirts for t-shirts. <clears throat> Excuse me, that can include the SKU, size, and color. And another attribute uh, set for computers that can include uh, SKU, the RAM, screen size, and memory. So you can kind of, depending what you sell and the variation of the products, this is a you know kind of a great tool to help you uh, manage your your attributes. Now the product types. There's um, there's a few variations to product types as well. Uh, there's a simple product type, which is a single SKU uh, grouped, lets you kind of um, offer multiple standalone products as a group. You can offer variations of a single product, or group them by season, theme or for promotion for example. So product can be purchased separately or part of a group. Configurable um, is a single product with multiple variations such as a size or color. So if you sell a t-shirt that's one SKU, one, one product and if you have them as a uh, different sizes small, medium, large, each of these sizes will have a different attribute. So you can create them as a configurable uh, product type. Virtuals are examples of, uh, of uh, services, music, and warranty. Um, bundle products allow customers to build your own with assorted options. Um, you know, such as a computer, you can bundle that computer system together. They can select the size of the monitor. They can select different types of keyboards um, and different uh, software options that they can include as an example and gift cards so even though uh, gift cards can be s set up as a virtual product uh, Magento differentiates this because gift cards can be both virtual or a visco product that can be mailed out so I'm gonna select a simple product just to uh, make things uh, easy uh, and press continue we're going to enter the name of a product. Uh, we're going to use our basic uh, Nike Polo and uh, create some sort of a description here. So they have a regular description to be posted on your website and also a, uh, a short description. 
We're going to enter a SKU, a wait, enable the status. We're going to enter a uh, URL key, Nike dash polo. And it looks like um, I can't create a uh, create a manufacturer on the slide, so we're just going to keep it blank for now. Um, colors. We're going to select the color. Since this is a simple product, you can only um, only include one color. So we're just going to select green um, for now. So we need to enter a price, the cost, and if you want to, you can select the uh, different tier sizes, uh, bulk pricing. So if they ordered uh, two or more, um, I'm going to give them a, a, a lower price, and, and I can add a different tier. So if they purchase um, six or more, you know, it's a, even a further discount for them. Here's the meta information. We're gonna you can enter the title, keywords, and uh, and the uh, proper meta description. Images. So let's browse for an image. You can um, select your image as a thumbnail, small, or a base image. So let's include all three. And we we're just going through the left left uh, navigation, going through the product setup. So we're gonna. Um, you can looks like you can customize the product page theme. If there's a specific theme you wanna go with. You can select shipping. Uh, we haven't set up the shipping group yet, so we're just gonna leave that blank for now. Inventory, if you want to track inventory, categories, you can select the category. Um, so we're just gonna. It doesn't look like you create a new category, so we're just gonna pick the shirts for now. related products you can uh, or upsell products you can select from a uh, from a number of different items that's currently available on your website and cross sell similar option So we're we're gonna save it and continue. We're gonna import. You could you have the option of importing your existing products over here. So since I don't have anything specific now, uh, you could import products, images, customer information. You could add update or delete so what I'm going to do is actually export their products to see how that looks like you can export the products and filter by a number of different attributes you would like to uh, export by so we're just gonna 
export. I think we're gonna we're just gonna come back to this. It's gonna take some some time to export everything. So we're gonna go through the payment gateway setup. Automatically it sets up uh, the PayPal Express for you. So we're gonna take a look at what uh, what other options are, are available. So there's a number of um, different payment gateways. Uh, PayPal, um, gateways, checkout, and when and uh, here's the list of all the other payment gateways there they're integrated with. So it's a small handful of payment gateways, but they do offer more than one, one option. So let's take for example authorize.net. Um, basically for all payment gateway you need to sign up um, with uh, with the payment gateway themselves and they'll give you a user ID and a password, uh, API login and password so you can just plug that in and uh, set that up quickly and here's a uh, offline uh, payment so we're just gonna save that and uh, let's take a look at uh, tax calculations so if your if your store collect taxes you can um, enter the information here we're going to skip that we're going to take a look at shipping Let's see what our shipping options are so you can do uh, basically flat rate table rates free shipping and and the other major uh, shipping companies UPS FedEx and uh, DHL so if you want to create your own rate table here or just a flat rate for all your products if you have a simple store you can use this option we're going to disable that and uh, take a look at the UPS and make sure that's enabled for real time calculation So for FedEx, you need your set up your own account number, and they'll provide you with a key and password for you to basically plug in and get that information. Okay, I think we're uh, we're ready. So let's um, launch your store, save that information, and see how that looks like. So let's look at the actually the export before I forget. So it's finished processing. Let's download that and uh, let's take a look at an example of their product page uh, export file. So let's look for our uh, our Nike uh, poll that we uh, added. Okay, so at the bottom, it's a simple uh, product type, as you can see, and you have the categories there, the basic information that we that we entered. You can export it and take a look at where where it ends up, which fields. And um, so, if you want to. Uh, import them you can manually enter this information in this file and it, instead of manually doing that through uh, through the admin screen one at a time so it looks like they have a they do have a lot of different f fields attributes you can uh, you can include this highly customizable Um, next thing I want to do is take a look at orders I submitted an order ahead of time so it's for us just to take a look sometimes it can get complicated on um, on how you can uh, create an order in a uh, trial version so I, w I went ahead and uh, 
created one. Pretty uh, standard invoice. Um, you can uh, enter some. Let's enter some comments, and that will actually. Uh, you can notify the customer by email to keep them in the loop. So part of the Magento um, order processing, after you uh, after you receive a new order, you have to invoice them. As uh, just a normal uh, order processing, you can submit the invoice, and then you can, uh, if you have the credit card on file, capture that information, or it's done automatically. So it's invoice now. Take a look at shipments. There's nothing there yet. We haven't shipped it. So let's select this record again. Um, you can choose to hold it or or ship it. And over here, you can enter the shipping information. Um, enter the tracking number. And if there's more than one package, you can uh, enter that additional information here. You can uh, include some comments and then uh, and then uh, submit it. An email should go out to your customer. Uh, one thing I want to point out is their um, their pricing rules, uh, catalog price rules. It's um, it's pretty. Uh, it's pretty neat. It's very uh, highly configurable. You can set up different rules for um, offering discounts before and uh, during checkout. So, take for example, over here, you can select uh, the brand, what type of brand you want uh, the discount to be offered at. So, we're just gonna select Apple, and then you can keep digging and drilling down into uh, what type of product you can go to. What type of color, cost, um, dimensions, so forth. And then after you set the conditions of the rule, we're just going to keep it simple. And you could add what type of action you want, what kind of discount you want to offer. So there's a number of offers that they provide here, actions. Yeah, this is just another example of how uh, configurable um, uh, Magento is. So here's a uh, take a look at their at their price plans. There's uh, four basic price plans that they offer here. And you can uh, take a look at uh, the full feature list, which I will post up on uh, on our site as well. So there you have it. It's a, a preview of Magento. So for more information and uh, show notes on Magento or any other e-store reviews, um, please uh, visit our site at www.estorecoaching.com. So if you like this review, please uh, give me a thumbs up and provide some feedback to help me provide just better content in the future. So uh, thank you for watching.